Salams everyone, we're back in the kitchen. Today I'm making stuffed zucchinis in a yogurt sauce. Um, a favorite with a lot of Middle Eastern uh, people. It's absolutely delicious. These are from my daughter's garden. Um, my children don't like it with yogurt. You can make it with a yogurt sauce or you can make it with a red sauce. Today I'm gonna make it with a yogurt sauce because I love the yogurt one. So I've got here five zucchinis. I have poured these zucchinis and I've just scraped the bottom off so it's nice and clean. I've washed them inside and outside. What we use to core the zucchinis is this little gadget over here. Um, it's your corer. So we slice off the top and then we gently um, core it and scoop the inside out. I don't make it paper thin, but um, because I actually want to taste the zucchini, I just don't want to taste the skin. So these are also known as marrow, um, but we call them Lebanese zucchinis and they're delicious. So I have cored every single one of them. Um, get ready to break one or two if you're a beginner, but that's okay. You only learn through breaking them, so it's fine. As you can see, it's cored right down to the bottom. In here, I have got 200 grams of minced lamb. You can use beef and I have a cup of washed short grain rice in there also. Um, I've added uh, some cumin for that, some fresh cumin. I grind this myself, I don't buy it already pre-grinded, and some salt. Some people like to add a teaspoon of ghee or a tablespoon of ghee in there. I try to avoid the extra fat, so I don't add it in there and it tastes just as good. So I am going to stuff these zucchinis. When you're stuffing these zucchinis, you only stuff them up to there. You do not put your finger and push them in. You loosely stuff it. You can give it a little tap, but you will loosely stuff the zucchinis. Why? Because remember the rice is gonna expand. So I will show you one that I have done already. Hold on, let me get it on camera. Right there. And this is three quarters fill, loosely stuffed. So I'll stuff the last one and then we're gonna start on the yogurt sauce. Leftover rice and meat because you can never perfect the amount. Um, I don't throw it away, but I just find it hard to make a little bit of um, a filling. Uh, I'm just used to making large amounts. So what I do is I put it in a little plastic container, as you can see there. And I will pop that in the fridge and when I make my next five, when my daughter gives me some from her garden, then I have the filling all ready. So I'm going to chuck that in the freezer. Don't put it in a freezer bag because it will crush the rice. Just put it in a little container. In the sauce. Um, in this pot, and I've chosen a medium sized pot because I'm only making five, remember? Um, so in this pot, I have approximately a cup and three quarters of yogurt. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit more or a little bit less, it'll be fine, believe me. In here, I have a heap teaspoon of cornstarch with a little bit of cold water mixed. I have one egg and I have my kettle um, boiled and ready. Now, I have not put this on the stove yet, so remember that. To that, I'm going to add the cornstarch. Give that a good mix. Then I will add my raw egg. The reason we use an egg, because I don't want the yogurt to curdle. Without the egg, the yogurt will curdle. This will stop it from curdling. So add that in, give it a really, really good mix because when you add your hot water, you don't want your egg to cook. Otherwise you're gonna have scrambled egg in there. And then I'm gonna slowly incorporate the water, the hot water. That's mixed well in there. And then I'll slowly start to add water and mix at the same time. I don't want any lumps. Hence the creaminess of the um, Greek yogurt makes it less lumpy also. I will fill half my pot with the boiled water because don't forget when you add your zucchinis, it's going to expand. All right. Okay, I've added half this pot. I'm taking this over to the stove. Now, this is where the fun begins. 
This is where our mothers used to make us do the stirring, but they used to do large Bessemer pots and they probably has, have about three or four kilos of zucchinis in there. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot stop stirring, not even for a second. You must keep stirring until it has come to the boil. If you stop stirring, mate, it's all curdled. It's gone for you and you have to start all over again. So I will keep stirring. I normally have my phone next to me so I can um, play on my phone while I'm stirring this. So it's on high heat and we'll be back once it has boiled. Okay, come to the ball, and as you can see, it didn't split or anything like that. Thanks to my egg in there. I'm going to add these very gently, just pop them in. Doesn't matter how you add them, as long as they all go in there. Okay, and those, that beautiful yogurt sauce will start filling up the insides where the rice and meat is, and it will start cooking it. Obviously it stopped boiling so um, because once I added the zucchinis, the cold zucchinis in there. So I'll pop the heat back up, bring it back up to the boil again. Once it is boiling, I will put it on a gentle simmer. If we find that our yogurt sauce is a little bit thick, maybe your cornflour is different to mine, it's okay because once it comes to the boil, you can add a little bit of boiled water um, in there. But mine has come out, oh, that hurt, I touched the pot. Mine has come out beautiful, the thickness of it. So we're gonna put that, once it starts boiling again, we're gonna put it on a gentle simmer and that will simmer for probably half an hour. And then I will, okay, I'm gonna turn the heat down. As you can see, a little bit more than that because I want a gentle simmer on that. I will come back and I will add um, the rest of the ingredients in there. No lid on, by the way, no lid, just a gentle simmer till you get, play with your um, temperature until you get it right. And then we'll be back soon. Okay, as you can see, the liquid has reduced the source of it. Source is a beautiful consistency there. You can make it thinner, like I said, by adding a bit of boiled water. And to make sure that it's ready, I've put one in there. Taste it for salt, obviously. Add salt that you like. And you can see that that rice is cooked. The meat is cooked. I will taste test this, but I just want to show you. The rice is fully cooked through right there with the meat. So because we're finishing slowly from COVID, and most of us are going back to work. I've got work tomorrow, so I've made this tonight and I will heat it and eat it tomorrow. So you can make it a day in advance. This will stay in the fridge, obviously put it in a container. This will stay in the fridge uh, three, four days and it's fine. The yogurt sauce on its own is delicious too. Enjoy! Salam alaikum!